A snapshot of an ordinary day in Moscow. People go about their business, hardly paying any attention to the robots navigating the streets. Come rain or shine, these six-wheeled devices deliver documents, parcels and food from companies, supermarkets and restaurants. This is the third generation of our robots. They move easily in the snow and navigate in the rain. They are not bothered by temperatures from minus 30 degrees to 30 plus degrees Celsius. The ordering process takes just a couple of minutes using an app, after which the robot hits the streets. A 3D map installed in their brain prevents them from getting lost and electronic eyes help overcome obstacles, something that sometimes might prove to be quite challenging in the adverse Russian weather. Videos of people trying to help a delivery robot out of a snowdrift have gone viral online. Manufacturers are confident the cost of delivery by humans and their robots will be equal in the near future. Therefore, it opens more business prospects for the project. Environmental concerns were a driving force behind these electric ferries. Launched in mid-2023, they've become part of Moscow's public transport, alongside regular buses, trams and the metro. As you know, in winter the Moscow River freezes, so these year-round electric ferries are capable of breaking the 20 centimetre thick layer of ice. All the technologies we use here are domestic ones. The ferries can carry 50 passengers per journey and offer USB chargers and Wi-Fi access. Authorities say they produce no harmful emissions. And although their relatively sedate pace makes them rather unsuitable for the daily commute to work, they have proved popular with tourists. Another machine designed for an urban landscape is Pixel, a multi-role unmanned cleaner for closed venues such as parks and museums. We are joking. We've managed to merge something that seemed impossible to combine. Our Pixel robot is a collaboration between IT specialists and utility workers. The robot can work 24 hours a day with breaks for recharging and refilling with water in summer or for defrosting liquids in winter. It can be controlled remotely or operate autonomously. These AI solutions can make people's lives much easier but there's also a flip side to their increased use. Since Russia launched its so-called special military operation in Ukraine nearly two years ago, thousands of migrant laborers have left the country. The local currency, the ruble, has gradually depreciated and working conditions have deteriorated, prompting innovators to fast-track AI technology to partially supplement the human workforce. Yulia Shapovalova, Al Jazeera, Moscow. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.